Now, although we've covered a lot of the new stuff announced at WWDC 2016, some of you are still wondering what are my personal favorites from each of the four platforms. So in this video, we're going to discuss just that. Mac OS Sierra, headlined by Siri on Mac. What time is it in Chicago? The time in Chicago, Illinois is 9.32 a.m. And not only can you perform mundane queries like that, but you can also perform more file system finder centric requests that's more apt for the desktop experience. And picture in picture is a feature that I've always wanted on the Mac. Ever since it hit the iPad, I've wanted picture in picture, even before that actually. It's a nice feature, it allows you to use other applications and keep the video playing on top of the screen at all times. Even when you switch to different desktops, as I've demonstrated in other videos, you can keep the picture on top at all times, just like this. Super handy feature. Now you can also, as I've noted in a other video, you can rearrange menu bar icons by holding the command key, but not just menu bar icons, third party menu bar icons. This is a great feature, long time in the making. Now you also have iCloud desktop and document sync. So when you enable this option here in the iCloud settings, you're gonna be able to sync documents and desktop items between your iOS devices and your Mac. So whenever I make changes to one device, the changes will propagate to all my other devices. So I'm gonna delete this file right here. So just tap delete, delete from iCloud Drive and watch it delete on my Mac. I'm not gonna to touch my Mac, but you're gonna see that file on the desktop go away when I delete it from iCloud Drive on my iPhone. So let's just tap delete. All right, now watch the Mac. Look at the file in the upper right hand corner and you're gonna see it go away by itself. Just like that. TVOS 10. Now of all the platforms, I probably play with TVOS 10 the least, but that's not to say that there aren't some big features found in this update. There are. Starting with this one right here, you can quickly switch to dark mode just like this. And when you go back to the home screen, you'll notice that the interface is dark. Great for when watching videos or playing with your Apple TV in a dark setting, which a lot of us do, let's face it. Now in TVOS 10, you can also search YouTube with Siri like this. Search YouTube for macOS Sierra. Okay, then it's gonna launch the YouTube app with our search query populated in the text box. And there you go at the top, nine to five Mac. Thank you guys for all of your thumbs up on the videos. That really helps get our content to the top and helps others to find our content as well. So thank you very much. Now, another huge part of tvOS 10 is HomeKit integration. And when you go to the general section of the settings app, you're gonna find in the privacy section, a HomeKit section. And that's just a sort of a nod to the fact that HomeKit support is bundled in tvOS 10. I don't have any HomeKit devices, unfortunately, but if I did, here's what I could do. Set the thermostat to 75 degrees. And it would change. But as you can see, I don't have any devices connected, unfortunately. Going to change that soon though. Now, next up, you're gonna find single sign-on. This is a feature that I can't yet demonstrate, but single sign-on basically will allow you to sign in with your cable or satellite subscription, and then you automatically get access to all those apps that allow access via those subscriptions. So you don't have to individually log into all these different apps, which is super annoying. This is a very welcome change. Now let's talk iOS 10. Now, as an Apple Music subscriber, I'm happy to find a more simplified, user-friendly interface with iOS 10. You're gonna find the library tab is the first tab that has all of your stuff in there. It has all your playlists, your artists, your songs. You can even find just music that's downloaded locally on your device. You have a new nail playing interface with lyrics, and you'll see the up next options below that. Very nice update to the nail playing interface. But of course we know Apple Music is based around discovery as well and you have a new For You tab. Notice the updated fonts, the heavier font weight uh, all throughout the interface you're going to notice that. You have your search, you have your radio. Now it's likely that you didn't use it anyway but you'll also notice that the connect tab is completely gone in iOS 10's music app. Now arguably the biggest feature in iOS 10 is the updated iMessage and it's very Snapchat centric. Uh, you can actually take photos via a live view like that right from the message interface and send it just like that. You can also find photos that you've taken previously so you can browse your library, tap a photo and send it just like that. Of course, there are other features as well, such as digital touch integration for a very Apple Watch-like experience. So you can actually draw right there on the little digital touch pad and send little doodles and stuff to your friends and family. So I'm gonna do that right now. Just draw a little doodle, just like that. And it'll send over to my recipient, just like that. All right, and I can also go into full screen mode and also invoke the camera so that I can take a photo or take a video and then mark up right there 
with my little digital touch doodles right on the photo or video. Like I said, very Snapchat like, but perhaps most exciting is the implementation of iMessage apps, which allows you to download sticker packs. And there's a default sticker pack here with some classic Mac icons. Apple also lets us search quickly for our favorite GIF animations so we can send those over to our friends and family. So I'll just search for LeBron James here and find one of his GIF animations. Just tap that just like that and I can send it along. But third party developers will be able to make their own iMessage applications and even those with limited development experience can make sticker packs and sell those. Now there's also Apple Music integration for inline playback. And iOS 10 also features a new lock screen with raise to wake, so your phone wakes up as soon as you raise it, which makes it easy to see your notifications. You can also swipe to the right to view your widgets, and at the top, you'll see a little search bar for quick spotlight search. And you can also swipe left to view your camera shortcut, so you can quickly take photos and videos directly from the lock screen. We'll have more about the lock screen and all of its new features in an upcoming video. iOS 10 also allows you to hide stock applications, so just go into wiggle mode, just like that. Tap the little X button in the upper left-hand corner. It's gonna ask you if you wanna remove that app, it doesn't actually delete it, but if you tap remove, it's gonna hide that application. If you wanna get it back, just search for it on the app store, tap the little cloud button to download it. Actually, it doesn't download, it just instantly appears because it's just hidden. Now, watchOS 3 has tons of new features like the watchOS dock, which replaces the friends carousel, allows you to quickly switch to all of your favorite applications right there on the fly, switch to your most recently used application right there on the fly. Awesome new feature, love the dock in watchOS 3. And be sure to watch our video where we talk about the dock in depth and all the new features that it brings to the table. WatchOS 3 also allows you to quickly switch between watch faces with just a swipe. That is so nice to have. You can quickly switch either swipe left or swipe right, just like that. Now Control Center makes an appearance in WatchOS 3 to swipe up from the bottom of the screen while on the watch face and you can quickly access all of your quick toggles. And last but not least, auto unlock. In a future update, you're gonna be able to use your Apple Watch to automatically unlock your Mac just like that. So ladies and gentlemen, that has been a look at some of my favorite features from macOS Sierra, watchOS 3, iOS 10, and tvOS 10. What are your favorite features? Let me know down below in the comment section and leave us a thumbs up if you appreciated this video. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.